Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Anchor here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over which crews I believe are going to be the Yonko crews in Grand Peace Online. So, the Yonko are the four emperors of the sea, yada yada, I'm pretty sure everyone already knows what they are, but. So, I'll just go straight into it. Um, so, the first crew that's on my radar, and this is a crew that everyone knows about, and that is Alucard. So, Alucard is famous for being boosted and. Also having Alucard tech, which allows them to get into people's private servers. That they basically have a lot of advantages that normal players don't have, which in my opinion makes them a great candidate for a Yon Yonko crew because they genuinely have an advantage which makes them more of a threat, which in turn increases their like infamy and people like knowing about them. So that's why I put them there. I'm also including within Alucard the, the, the uh, Jackson Pirates, because I think personally the Jackson Pirates aren't really that separate from Alucard. Like whenever you see an Alucard member, it's normally with Jackson Pirates. So I've included them together, uh, and then on to the next one. So the next crew I'm, I'm going to talk about is a pretty. Uh, they're not well. They're a pretty huge crew in Grampus Online, but they're not too like infamous. They're not too known, and that is the Whitebeard Pirates. So the Whitebeard Pirates, uh, they're pretty big. I think they have over a thousand members. They have different divisions, different captains, and overall they're based on the Whitebeard Pirates from the anime, so it makes sense that they would be Yonko. But alternatively, the Blackbeard Pirates, which is another crew which is based on the Blackbeard Pirates from the anime, uh, they are also have like I think over like 600 members, which makes them again a candidate for this kind of position. So they're also there, and I've also heard that. Their, uh, their higher up is pretty skilled. So, next up we have Alpha Creed. So, Alpha Creed is a really interesting, has, has a really interesting backstory. So, this crew is made up of people who are like the best PvPers in the game, the best people who, the best at, uh, I guess, PvP in that kind of part of the game. And it's also got a lot of YouTubers in it, which makes it even more of like a candidate, which I know sounds weird, but it's, it's because. If you have like a YouTube platform, you can kind of get your crew, like, more people will know about them, which increases, like, the infamy, and that's part of being a Yonko. So yeah, Alpha Creed, uh, they pretty much tick every single box, even though they're such a small crew, they tick every single box in terms of skill, in terms of numbers, in terms of, like, their ability to, to, to create hype, um, so they definitely make the list. But then, and the fourth crew I'm going to talk be talking about is... A crew which is owned by AGZ Revolver, who is a uh, GPO YouTuber, and it's basically it's the uh, Silver Moon Pirates. And why I how they got on my radar was that they basically they have this huge feud with the um, Alucard and JP Pirates, which in my opinion is great because it means that it's it creating like user generated content for the players to play through, like. Alucard and Silver Moon's, uh, I guess, conflict creates a uh, more content for people to experience in, in Grand Prix Online, which is great, and that's just what we need in the communities. That's why I'm including them there uh, as well. But other than that, uh, that there, there might be a few other crews that haven't made the list, but I just want to say that it's not because I don't think they could be Yonko, but rather because, in my opinion, they're more likely to be like uh, what Luffy is or what. Laws crew is like the kind of like uh, supernovas, so they're not Yonko and they're not warlords, but they're kind of somewhere in the middle. As for the warlord crews, I don't know about the warlord crews. Like they're they're pretty big and they're pretty strong, but I don't think they really have that kind of influence anymore. Like Sage has a crew which is the warlord crew, and it's a great crew, but no one really knows about them, and it kind of messes up the whole Yonko thing. But they are definitely that better suited to being a warlord. But anyway, I, I talked about this for way too long, so I'll just end the video soon, but I just wanted to make this video about, you know, who I believe in the Yonko. I thought I could, you know, get, ha have a unique point of view, but if you have any um, of your own ideas that you think are different, or you have people who you think should be Yonko or shouldn't be Yonko, leave in the comments below, and uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and yeah, that's it.